Batman is getting off in that ass, and then all of a sudden Superman is like, Martha! Batman's like, your mama's name is Martha? So is my mama's name. Did we just become best friends? Let's go save this bitch. Now that is one of my huge problems with the movie. It's just like, that's what set it off. The name Martha. I'm in a fight with somebody and they yell my mama's name. One, I'm not going to give a fuck. How does he going to know my mama's name of all things? Unless it's somebody I grew up with. And even then, you're just going to yell somebody's mama's name? Get out of here with that. Miss me with that. When I say that this movie sucks... I mean that it did not live up to the hype at all. This is Batman versus Superman. They say people have wanted this for 50 plus years, or at least since the movies have been on the big screen. So maybe at least since the 70s or late 80s. Now, they originally had this movie scheduled to come out the same day as Captain America 3, which ended up being Captain America Civil War. Once they realized it was Captain America Civil War, they changed the release date and they moved it up a couple of months. I see why. You know, they would have utterly been destroyed if they had these negative reviews going into Civil War. So they had to move the release date up for their shitty movie. Okay, it wasn't shitty. I gotta say, Ben Affleck's performance as Batman was pretty good. He was more or less interesting to me. I was wondering, what's going on with his character? He has this intriguing backstory that... We do know about from the comics and prior movies, but we don't know what's been established in the movies. And I'm hoping that he's gone through most of his villains already. And with Suicide Squad coming up, it sounds like that might be the case. And maybe we'll be able to get an Arkham Asylum movie one of these days. One of the things that I thought they could have changed in the movie was Wonder Woman. I don't think that they should have revealed Wonder Woman at all until the movie came out. I think they should have just left her in there and just teased her so you were wondering, you know, who is this? What is she doing? And then once they show that she is Wonder Woman, then you would have been like, whoa, hold on. That's fucking Wonder Woman? I think that would have been a better reveal than going in there knowing that it was Wonder Woman. It would have brought something extra to the movie. Then we have Doomsday. Now I think the concept is dumb. What is going on with that? Why couldn't they have Doomsday actually just be Doomsday. Like I said in my prior videos about this Batman vs. Superman, DC's really just in a rush to catch up. And that's really what their downfall is. Because they tried to do too much in here. Doomsday should not have been Zod. Then when Lex goes to jail, they shave his head. So that's the reason why we have bald Lex. That doesn't happen. When you go to jail, you're not forced to cut your hair. You could do whatever you want with your hair. Do you guys watch Lock Up Raw? People are in there with braids. Big ass froze, dudes have long hair, they got the ZZ top beards. That's a stupid reason for him to go bald. Absolutely dumb. And I got a little confused when the hallucination scenes came up, you know? I guess they were daydreams, but they kind of just came from out of nowhere. And I don't know, I was just confused by it. it. Especially the Nightmare Batman one, because they released that scene about a month or so ago as like teaser scene. So all that scene was just a nightmare. I mean, I guess that is to build up some anticipation, but I don't know. I thought those scenes were dumb. Flash cameo. I wasn't even sure that was Flash at first. I often forget the Flash can travel through time. But knowing that he is traveling through time now, maybe this will give us the Justice League Flashpoint Paradox live action. Hopefully, that'll be one of the Justice League movies. And overall, I felt like the movie was just long for no damn reason. And the rated R cut is an extra three hours. Man. I'm probably going to watch the extra three hours. And I'll let you know how horrible that is. If you guys haven't seen it already. I'd say wait for the Blu-ray. Or go ahead and check those jailbroken Apple TVs that you guys got. Those jailbroken Amazon Fire Sticks. And find it there. Because to me it was just so boring. I'm sitting in the theater like this. Ugh. Waiting for it to end. I felt like the ends had so many false finishes. I was like, just wrap it up already. However, ending with a cliffhanger after such a shitty movie. You're not sure if everyone wants to go ahead and see the next movie. I feel like if Suicide Squad sucks, it's over for the DC Cinematic Universe. And that's all I got to say about that. Until the next time, stay true and stay blue. Ooh, yeah. And probably stay Marvel too. Oh, shit. <laughs> Make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home
if I make it home tonight.